Hey folks, Cliff at Little City Toy Cars here. Doing a quick uh, video about Hot Wheels Red Lines 316. Sweet 16 refers to the first 16 cars that came out in the first assortment in 1968. Always been rumors that the Camaro was the first car that came out, but since they came out in big box assortments, there's no saying what the first car was. So, so I've lined up a few here. I'm going to just talk about a few things. First car here I have is the Beatnik Bandit. Now, like all the cars that you're going to see today, they're made in both Hong Kong and U.S. In the first year, you could get a Hong Kong or a U.S. version of all of them. What I'm looking at right now, you can see I start with a blue go to an ice blue very nice car got some discoloration on the bottom then we have an aqua a true green, that's a Hong Kong car an olive moderately hard to find lime and antifreeze and a gold one and an orange one, red, rose, what I think is bright bright rose, it might be hot pink, magenta, and then come back down, little differentiation here between a light purple Hong Kong, dark purple Hong Kong, and then two brown ones, this is a brown one here, and this is a copper one here, Super nice. Second car is a custom Barracuda. Got a blue one here with a white interior. Another blue one with a dark interior. And you can see an aqua, a green, and the gold one. Now this gold one is one that's in my banner. This is a hybrid. It's got a Hong Kong base. You can tell by the holes in the bottom. But it's got a US interior. The Hong Kong interior, as you can see on this copper one they have a black steering wheel gold one has a molded in steering wheel and it's also got the longer hood scoops on the hood that are characteristic of the US ones so anyhow some nice cars gold red three copper colored ones one of them has a wheel, wheel error that's why I keep it along with them um, pretty hard to find copper with a purple interior sets out nicely and then two purple ones on the back side they're slightly different colors I don't have a lot of of the expensive ones this is a custom Camaro here that one's a Hong Kong and then we've got a copper one after that gold one that's Hong Kong and then Pretty nice uh, light blue one with a missing hood. Custom Corvettes. I don't have a lot of good ones on these either. I sold them all a while back and I'm slowly rebuilding. So I got a blue, a what looks like an aqua, an olive, a lime, a beach crap rose, and then a purple one. Purple one is okay, not great. Custom Cougar. I sold all those as well about two years ago and I've only found two that gotten at decent deals as you can see a uh, blue one and a green one kept all my custom Eldorados though so here we go with the blue it's got a little mark on the hood but otherwise good light blue aqua green olive it's hard to pick up but the first one is lime and the second one is actually antifreeze and a gold one an orange one, red, rose, true pink, magenta, purple, and then pretty tough to find a copper one back in the back there, brown maybe. A lot of firebirds as well. Now it's, in my mind, the craze for door line firebirds, that's where there's a line on the door right here. It's just something that's just not that important to me. What I'd rather get is a bunch of white interiors. So most of my cars have white interiors so far. It's a nice blue Hong Kong. 
aqua, which is pretty hard to find in any kind of condition. Green, olive, lime, gold with some toning, orange where the hood is toned, red, really nice purple, got that on a deal on Toy Peddler, and then a brown, which is very difficult to find. A few custom Mustangs, again I sold a bunch of those a while back to finance some things in my house. Red one, the copper one, an aqua one missing the hood, which is too bad, and then a gold one, which aren't too bad. Some thoughts about fleet sides. Got a blue one here, and then, in my experience, the aqua ones and the purple ones, the ones you see mostly, and orange. So anything that's not orange, aqua, or purple is decently hard to find. So there's a blue, very clean aqua, a very nice green one. Now it's the antifreeze. Well, it's more like a lime. Gold one is actually a, um, a Sky Show fleet side. And an orange and a purple. Um, this one's a regular purple one where it doesn't have the coloring underneath the car. Painted tail, painted front. Um, I have some of those, but they're a little beat up. Alright, then Custom Thunderbird. Blue with black roof. The black roof ones are usually easier to find. A very beat to crap green one. Also a green beat to crap lime. Gold one doesn't even have any wheels. A little bit nicer one is pink, lavender, copper, and then back in the back is purple one. Custom VW, which is something I've hunted for for a long time. Very pretty blue one that looks, it's basically the nicest car I own. It's mint. Very hard to find. The next one, light blue, it's missing its little sliding um, sunroof. Then you can see I've got an aqua next. A very pretty green one. Doesn't come up well in video. Olive one. Then a nice lime and a nice antifreeze. Wish I owned a yellow. Tried to buy many yellows over the years on eBay and they all come in not yellow. It's a gold one that's beat. I didn't realize it was so crappy. It's even missing the windows. It was in my case for a long time, so I gotta upgrade that one. Orange, red, then a dark rose, true magenta, creamy pink, purple, and then brown. Hot pink is very difficult. It's a three, four hundred dollar car. Even beater ones are worth get over a hundred dollars typically. Alright, some Dioras. Now this first Diora has a reproduction red um, board, and I lied. It's the last one. I'm going to do the red one, but this one has real boards. Um, I have two real clean ones, so I put them both in. And both of them have their, you can see the steering wheels rattling around on the inside because it's Hong Kong. I've got a green one with original boards and a lime. A gold. And it's hard to tell, but that's an orange Hong Kong one right there. Red. Purple. Then we move into J cars. have a lot of J cars. Um, best J car is going to come up here in a second. There's an orange, a red, a couple pink, rose and pink. Magenta really doesn't exist, I don't think. Purple, copper, and then this white one is just gorgeous. Got a couple nicks on it. And coming back. Blue one with some nice stickers that I chose to leave on. A nice ice blue. Really clean aqua. The olive came from a beat up blister pack. And we put the stickers on it. Then we've got a yellow. And I don't know what this next one is. It looks like green, but I don't know that a color exists. So it's probably a lime fade. And a gold one. A real clean gold one. Typically in the um, first season of Hot Wheels, the easiest car to find floating around is a hot heap, and usually you can get them for reasonable prices. Um, some of the colors are hard, but 
it's an easy card to collect. So we've got a gold one, an orange one, red, rose. Might be pink, looks pink, but it's got a lot of rose to it, so we'll call it lavender. Good looking magenta and a Hong Kong purple. And then coming forward, a blue. Kind of a medium blue. I'm still on the prowl for a true light blue. I don't know that it exists. Real pretty aqua. Green. Olive. Lime. True antifreeze. True light green. Light green only came out in the Go set in 1968, 1969. Then an actual brown, which is a tough color. And pythons will come back over here. Start with the blue. Again, some nice stickers. Kid applied. My light blue has got a lot of chipping on it. Tough car though. Aqua, green, olive, lime, and antifreeze. Gold, orange, red. And then a few variations. This one is. You can't tell in the light, but it's true rose. And this one's got darkening, but it's rose. And then on the back side, we've got a purple, a copper, difficult. And then this last one's got a little bit of toning, but it is a true rose as well. Don't have a magenta one. And then silhouettes. People have commented that this is the car that most people remember from being a kid in the 60s and 70s. That's just not true for all of us, but for me, the one I remember the most is the um, actually the Mantis. So that was a 69 car. So again, nice blue, then light blue, a double shot in aqua. The only ones you can get in light green in this sequence was the Silhouette. Must have been towards the or granny green, uh, granny apple green. Must have been towards the end of the run, or the car ran for several years, so some of these others only ran for a year or two. Green, olive, then the first one is actually a lime, and the second one's an antifreeze. Gold, orange, red, it's a double shot of, looks like rose. And then one of my favorite cars in this group here. It's a Hong Kong creamy pink white interior silhouette. Fully matching base, a little dark toning on the base though. Double shot magenta. And then best color to collect I think is purple in the silhouette. So some nice cars here. Um, yeah, leave your questions and comments on YouTube. I can give you any information you need about any of these. But these are the first ones that came out in 1968. And lately, in the last few years, they've been referred to as the Sweet 16.